Hello there everybody, my name is Voxel and thank you for joining me today. Going to be giving you an introduction to TF2 Center so that you are familiar with everything. Hopefully I'm going to be covering pretty much everything, if not almost everything. Starting off with how to get there. Uh, you go TF2 Center and then you click the very first link. TF2 Center is still in beta. So we're going to start off with the logo here. If you click it, it takes you right back to this page. Pretty easy. Moving over, here is your profile when you log in. You can either log out or you can view your profile where you have reliability. Uh, when you leave a game, this will go down. And then when you leave a game, it will also count like one, two, three rage quits. Lobbies played, I have only played two. And then TF2 hours played. Here are your logs.tf profile, Steam profile, and then you can also add other profiles for other websites. So then clicking the logo, you will go back here. We can go to lobbies, which will also come here. Forums, if you would like to go to the forums and talk about it or ask questions. Then going back, the frequently asked questions, where you can read that. Then you can go back, or just keep clicking here by keep going back. Um, then the change log, and that's updates or things that they have changed since the recent update. Now we're going to move down here. Here's the header, and there's two buttons here, two main buttons. First one is create lobby. So here you can put your server address and archon password. And this is if you would like to host a game. You can also choose the game type, the config, uh, ETF2L, UGC, OZ Fortress, config, or I just said that, sorry, the map, the description. If mumble is required, and here's the description, you can write LOL, cool map and game, or just actually put something descriptive. And you can set a password for the reserved slots and reserve any of the slots. Minimal requirements if you would like to change that. But I do not host any games because I do not have a server. Next we have settings. And settings is where it, this is going to help you a lot. So region, I will choose North America because that's where I live. And then you can choose whichever game you want. Um, I really just leave them all open because I'm, I'm fine with anything. And then map type, so let's say you would like to get in some MVM. You can choose MVM or not. So then I will save North America. So this way it gets rid of most of like the Europe servers, even though for some reason it is not getting rid of the Europe server. But anyways, oh there we go. But I think they just got a player. Next we're going to move down to players online. There are 305 total players online right now, 104 people are from Europe and 193 people are from North America. Friends online, I have no friends on TF2 Center right now. And then where the server is based, so these are both North America, the map, uh, so this is Goalie Wash, Metalworks, Bin Process, you can see those right there. Game type, 6v6 Highlander and another Highlander, and minimum requirements. All of these are none. Also, there is something called Mumble, which is used for a lot of um, TF2, Highlander, and 6v6, and really any type of competitive TF2. Uh, Mumble, we're going to be talking about that now, can be downloaded right here. If you type in Mumble and then click on the SourceForge.net link, you can download it for Windows, OS X, um, Linux, any of those. And now we are going to look at how to sort of configure Mumble. Okay, so let's say we would like to play this game. Um, here, this is how you choose a slot. I'm going to do this, which is, this is not a good thing to do, but you will choose demo and then you can leave or ready up. So I feel bad. It's not a very nice thing to do to join and then leave, but that is how then you can also join Mumble. So here is the Mumble info. Let's open up Mumble. Server. Connect. And you're going to go add new. Then the label, which can be anything. So like TF2 center. Server address, you will go here. Control C. Copy it into there. Then the port, you will copy. Go here. Put it in. Oh, and then you will put in your username. So for mine, I would put in Voxel or Uzi or whichever one I would like to use. So I have it here. 
you can connect. And if I were in this match, you would go to channel number 41936. So it should be connecting me. There we go. So 41936. You will scroll all down, down, down. 419. Oh, and there it is right here. And then, and then you would choose uh, blue or red for whichever team you are on. So let's close Mumble for now. And I think, oh, there's a few other things I actually want to cover. Next is, uh, these are the players online. A lot of the time you will see somebody like Cadis, who is a streamer. I'm hoping I'm saying his name right. But you actually see a lot of pretty popular uh, TF2 players, and you can always ask them questions. A lot of the time, they'll be pretty nice about it. And a lot of people on TF2 Center are very nice. Um, a lot of the, just the chat is asking people to play. And then you can also say, hi there, or looking for a match, or stuff like that. And then it'll come up with your name there. Usually your name is also blue. But um, sometimes there will be a few not very nice people, and just ignore them. They have something a little bit wrong with them sometimes. So, um, let's see, one last thing. When you do join a match and everything is um, ready, then there will be a little box that comes up that says ready up, and then you'll press I am ready. And then when everybody is ready, this little um, sort of notification will come up saying, would you like to uh, like run this command or connect to the server? And you will press yes. And then usually you'll already have TF2 open. And when you press yes to the command, um, it will automatically connect you to the server. Okay, so the last thing I would like to cover is this bottom bar here. And it's really just the support section right here. So you can choose email us, leave feedback, or join our Steam group. If you click the little lollipop, it should load the page and you can join the group. So if you have any questions on something I did not cover, please leave them in the comment section below. If you enjoyed this video and want more like it, please like and subscribe. Finally, my name is Voxel and thank you very much for watching.